we are almost to our first stop, which is called Patsy's Pizza. It's in Harlem on First Avenue between 117th and 118th. Not to be mistaken with Patsy's Pizza or Patsy's Pizza. What do you mean there's two? There are multiples and oh, uh -oh. some of them are knockoffs of this one. Well, the one that I looked up on Google said it's called Patsy's Pizzeria. Uh -huh. So I hope that's the right one. Well, this is the right one, but there's okay. like another one down by, by the UN, like in 40 or something like that and that's a knockoff knockoff okay well we're going to the original in Harlem <laughs> I think this is the original I don't know it's just the best of the ones I've tried I guess we're gonna find out to get the first one. Okay, first thoughts are it smells really good and this definitely looks very classic mm -hmm. New York. Thin well, crust. The other thing is two slices, two Cokes, six dollars. Oh my god, it's so cheap. Wow. Got a nice crisp, nice crispy crust, mm -hmm. incredibly thin. Yep. And it's like the New York way. You fold it in half and eat it folded in half. Very good. Very good. Mm -hmm. Very good. Not too saucy, not too cheesy. Mm -hmm. You can hear how crispy it is. Yeah. And there's no, um, there's no sogginess. Yeah, no grease mm -hmm. at all. Yeah. Oh my god. Well, the next one that we are going to is called New York Pizza Suprema. I was first introduced to this place from a friend of a friend who insisted that we go there because some guy with a blog years ago, I think in the 2000, like, uh, 2000s or maybe the 90s, I can't remember. He um, ate at every single pizza place in Manhattan and rated it on a system and this was the best one according to his blog. And so they kind of got famous because every like New York pizza establishment was waiting for him to kind of come and review it because it was getting such a following. So it's really, really good. The flavors are amazing. The location is the only thing that kind of sucks about it. It's like right by Penn Station, 23rd and 8th, which I guess is like sort of convenient, but... Like 23rd? Mm -hmm. Okay, not 23rd. New York Pizza Suprema is on 31st and 8th Avenue. And I've never been there before. Yes. Okay. And you've never been there. about it. This is like <laughs> one of the ugliest places, but that's it. It's very unassuming right there. All right, let's go get it. Mm-hmm. 
It's a Merry Christmas Ninja Party The Ice King invited everybody Will anyone show and help build men out of snow? Will the Ice King spend Christmas alone? Ice King Christmas Party Ice King Christmas Party This one is definitely greasier than the first one Than Patsy's with that cool a sec. Mm. What was on the pizza that you got? This has a uh, sausage, pepperoni, basil. Red peppers, it looks like. Yeah, it looks like red pepper. This was called the Suprema? Yep. Okay, so that's probably their classic. And I'm not normally a white pizza person, but their white pizza is really, really good. Initial thoughts? <laughs> um, it's a good flavor. I could use more tomato sauce. The toppings are very domineering. Mm -hmm. It's a little overwhelming. A little overwhelming. Okay, well, it's your first try. Um, definitely greasier. The crust holds together well in the back, but in the front, I think there's just too many toppings. Too just many too toppings. Mm -hmm. So just looking at the sign over there, it says, rated number one slice of pizza in Manhattan over, over, out of over. 370 places surveyed and also awarded one of the 10 best pizzas in New York City. So this place gets a lot of really good reviews. It's really good, but this was definitely a lot greasier than Patsy's pizza was and there's a lot more toppings on it. So it's harder Thick. Yeah, it's harder to fold it if you um, have toppings on it. Mine was much easier because it was just the um, like white sauce and like ricotta uh, dollops on it and stuff like that. If you like white pizza, this is by far my favorite white pizza that I've ever mm -hmm. eaten in New York City. Yeah, it's really good, but definitely more toppings than Patsy's, which makes it a little bit uh, soggier. Yeah, soggier. But good. Not too, not soggy, soggy. Like, I can still fold it and there's still a crunch to it on mine. Yours was not so much in the center. Yeah, it was, it was a little floppy. Yeah, but still very good. Mm -hmm. After two slices, we are um, a little bit Take full. The next left onto 9th Avenue. So we're taking a little uh, Strand break because the next one is right by Strand anyway. Strand just reopened, so we're gonna pop in there and hang out and look for books that we don't need, and then get a slice from Williamsburg Pizza after that. <laughs> We were just joking that would be really hilarious if we were like the Michael Scott of eating pizza right now and we just like took you to places like Domino's and Sbarro. Not that there's anything wrong with that if that's all you have available, but obviously no. New York is no. known for its pizza. We no. can't be eating Domino's and Sbarro. Here's the Flatiron building. Not that you can see it, it's covered in scaffolding right now. We had intended to go to four different places, but we got two full after two slices and we figured the stop at Strand would give us time to get a little hungrier for the next two or <laughs> just... We needed, we needed more tasks. Yes, we, um, yes, I think next time or go, if we go into this again, we will know to split one piece so that we are eating a total of two slices instead of four slices of pizza. That would have probably 
been the better way to go about yeah, this. Yeah, I thought about doing that when we were headed up there, but then I figured, like, you know, traveling between the places and stopping mm. at the bookstore. And we were really hungry, too, so I don't know if we would have been able to. Next ones we will try at a different time are Williamsburg Pizza. That was my, we each picked two. My two were New York Pizza Suprema and Williamsburg Pizza, and then his picks were Patsy's and... John's. John's and John's is one that's in the West Village. Williamsburg Pizza is like a New York chain. The original one, of course, is in Williamsburg, uh, but they just opened a new one in, by Union Square. So I loved that pizza back when I lived in Williamsburg and I used to order from them all the time and their delivery windows were outrageous, but so worth it when you got the pizza. It's like you were so mad by the time the pizza arrived and then you take a bite and you're like, okay, everything is forgiven. But yeah, so we'll have to wait to try those a different time. But we did each get uh, some books. I bought um, a Japanese literature. No, I love Japanese literature. And you bought a bunch of art books. I bought two art books and uh, and a World War One infographic. World War Two. A oh, World War Two. I wish they had a World War One. Yeah, a World War Two infographic book. And now we are headed back home. snack game. 